This story is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. on our end.
I'll end this right now. Joker, it's her! She's the weird reading I've been getting! My weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. Let's do this, Senpai! The enemy readings have decreased? That's... It's been a while since we last fought side by side. But this time... It's my turn to come to your aid, Senpai. Now let's win this! Let's go. Go down! Persona! There! clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? Wait, bad news. Enemy backup's headed your way. You need to book it right now. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the phantom thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made. Okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! All right, let's do it! He's not alone! Find them and kill them all! to find some kid you have your teammate to thank for this you were sold out suspect confirmed cuff it
Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate! What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? So, you're not that dumb. Which is good. Cause we get to take as much time as we need! <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it, huh? You should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. <laughs> I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. This isn't an issue of whether or not it can be used in court. I need to know. This is my case, after all. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, 
Tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. You are held captive. A prisoner of fate to a future that has been sealed in advance. This is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. I beg you, please overcome this game and save the world. The key to victory lies within the memories of your bonds, the truth that you and your friends grasped. It all began that day, when the game was started half a year ago. For the sake of your world's future, as well as your own, you must remember. stuff, don't you? Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, it's 
Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, the blonde's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to... Hmm? Hmm? Frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now, and the payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Yeah. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other, and... Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between the two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning.
Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? You're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. You're lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So you come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. 
You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep. Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong, I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. 
I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. You think you can manage? <sighs> Do you even understand your situation? Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. <sighs> if that's what it was like at school, People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating further, accident and more of a crime of the sources. company and the, the government. The Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people was suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh.
damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? already. It's Sakura. Anyway, I, I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign to closed when I left. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? Hey, you need to understand the position you're in. I'm sure there's a lot on your mind, but you should listen to me while you're living under my roof. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. So, you're actually going to school, huh? Here, I'll feed you. Just make sure you finish it before the customers start coming in. Don't complain, just eat. It's time for you to go. Thanks. Hurry over to school. You'll end up late if you get lost on the way. Don't forget to do that for me, all right? Now, you better hurry on out. You're gonna be late if you get lost, country boy.
Oh, man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh? It's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. It reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, what'll it be? One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My coworker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh. Morning. You want me to give you a ride to school? You're gonna be late. Um, sure. Thank you. Do you need a lift too? Huh? Nah. What do you want? You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Huh? In that car just now, it was Kamoshida. He does whatever the hell he wants. Who does he think he is, the king of a castle? Don't you agree? Uh, it's just a saying. Hmm? Wait. You don't know Kamoshida? Are you for real? You're from Shujin, right? You messing with me? You're wearing a Shujin uniform. Huh. A second year, huh? We're the same grade then. Never seen you before, though. Oh. You a transfer student? <laughs> then no wonder you don't know him. This rain ain't too bad. 
You better hurry up or we'll be late. Ugh, my head hurts. Damn it, I want to go home. There was a terrible subway accident that day. You remember it, don't you? I assume you know of the uproar that the public calls the psychotic breakdown incidents. That can't possibly be true. It was all over the news and one of the victims included a teacher at your high school. I've no doubt you heard about it. On that day, were you still an ordinary student? Let me change the question. You transferred to Shujin Academy, correct? An ordinary prep school that could be found in any city. That's what it should have been. What happened around that time? Tell me everything, truthfully. This should be the school, I think. Out of service? Where'd we end up? The sign was for the school, right? Right? You saw it too! Jeez, you freaked me out! Who are you? You a student? Man, your costume's impressive. Is that armor real? Come on, don't just stand there, say something. Hey, what's going on? Dude, I don't know. This shit's real. C calm down. It's time out, man. We gotta run. Yeah, we better not mess with him. Go! Yeah. What's with these guys? You're gonna break my bones, damn it! The hell you think you're. Take them away! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, wake up! You all right? I see. Looks like this ain't no dream. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, let us out of here. 
I know there's someone out there! Damn it! Where are we? Is this some kind of movie set? <laughs> the hell was that just now? Whoa, 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 whoa! You're shitting me, right? Come on, man. Punishment has been decided upon. Your charge is unlawful entry. Thus, you will be sentenced to death. Say what? No one's allowed to do as they please in my castle. Huh? Wait. Is that you, Kamoshida? I thought it was some petty thief, but to think it'd be you, Sakamoto. Are you trying to disobey me again? Looks like you haven't learned your lesson at all, huh? And you brought a friend this time, because you can't do anything for yourself. This ain't funny, you asshole! Is that how you speak to a king? It seems you don't understand the position you're in at all. Not only did you sneak into my castle, you committed the crime of insulting me, the king! The punishment for that is death. It's time for an execution! Take him out! Stop it! God damn it! I ain't down for this shit! Come on, we're out of here! Just go! Get out of here! These guys are serious! Oh? Running away, are we? What a heartless friend you are. He ain't a friend. Come on, hurry up and go! What's the matter? Too scared to run away? <laughs> Pathetic scum isn't worth my time. I'll focus on this one's execution. Take this! Lily scum! Useless pest! Huh. Where'd your energy from earlier go? A peasant like you isn't worth beating. I'll have you killed right now. Hmm. What? Don't you dare tell me you don't know who I am. That look in your eyes irritates me. Hold him there. After the peasant, it's his turn to die. No, no I don't want to die. <laughs> this is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. What's the matter? Are you simply going to watch? Are you forsaking him to save yourself? Death awaits him if you do nothing. Was your previous decision a mistake then? Very well. I repeated your resolve. willing to perform all sacrilegious acts for thine own justice. Call upon my name and release thy rage. 
Show the strength of thy will to ascertain all on thine own. Though thou be chained to hell itself! Execute him! What was that? You desire to be killed that much? Fine. Within you. If you so desire, I shall consider granting you the power to break through this crisis. Hmm. Very well. Who the hell are you? Guard! Start by killing that one! You'll learn the true strength of my men! power of mine is yours! Kill them however you want. Run wild to your heart's content! Come! This isn't it. Level up. What? What was that just now? You little... Ha! <laughs> you like that, you son of a bitch? Y you mean this? Okay, it's locked. Damn you! Hey, what was that just now? And your clothes? Whoa, it went back to normal. You bastards! God, this is effing nuts. Anyways, let's scram. You lead the way. Goddamn thieves! After them! Don't let them escape! Can we really get across this? On the other hand, there's nowhere else we can try. All right, let's get to hopping. Whoa! Hmm. 
What is this thing? You're not soldiers of this castle, right? Get me out of here! Look, the key's right there! We're trying to get the hell out of here. I mean, you obviously look like an enemy, too. I'm locked up here, so how can I be your enemy? Help me out! I am not a cat! Say that again and I'll make you regret it! up already shit there's still no service ain't there any way to contact someone outside how the hell do we get out hey you two you want to know where the exit is let me out and i'll take you there you don't want to get caught and executed right i never go back on my word this thing sounds like it's all talk if you guys think you can get out on your own them be my guest. What do we do? Are you seriously not messing with us? If you don't hurry, they'll catch you. <sighs> Fine. <gasps> ah, freedom tastes so great. Now where's the exit, you monster cat? Don't call me a cat. I am Morgana. Shut up and hurry it up. You want to be locked up again? Oh, all right. Sheesh. Follow me and stay quiet. It's fourth period already. Sakura-san said that he left the house this morning. Should I contact the police? No, that'll just be more of a hassle. What did I do to deserve this? Well, guess we just gotta follow it. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm lowering the bridge. You, frizzy hair. It seems like you pick up on things faster than our blondie over here. Try checking around the mouth of this statue, okay? Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit, it's them! You amateur! Stay still! Hey, you! You could fight, right? Let's go! Come! <laughs> you got one of those things, too? <laughs> We will promptly shut them up! Damn shadows! They've taken up intercept positions! Looks like it's not about capturing us anymore! They're out for blood! I'll back you up, so fight like your life depends on it! Let's go! <laughs> hm. I knew you were an amateur. 
This is how you fight! Zoro, show your mind! <laughs> strike at an enemy's weakness to knock them down. Use that opening to strike again! That's the most basic of basics. Remember it well! Come on, let's hurry and get through this! Persona! I leveled up. Oh, an impressive skill. Oh! I feel like I've, like I've seen what this dude's wearing before. Ah, damn it! I'm too flustered! I can't remember anything right now. Come on, let's go! Hold on, damn it! What is it? We need to go, fast! But uh, who are these guys? Do you really think you have time to worry about other people right now? Besides, they're... There! Listened to me. I'm glad you stick to your guns. Looks like it's raring to go too. Persona, ravage them! Oh, the enemy's dead. Persona. before more show up. Hold on, we can't just leave these guys here. You really don't get it, do you? Ugh. There's no time to explain. Look, I'm going. If you don't want to follow, be my guest. Damn it. Fine, I'm coming. This way. We're here. Oh, finally. We're saved. It's not opening. Did you trick us, you jerk? Don't jump to conclusions. Over here. Hey, wait up! Where are we supposed to get out from here? There aren't even any windows. Ugh, amateur. This is the most basic of basics. That's right! As I thought, you're a natural at this. It leads all the way outside. I see. Then we just gotta get that metallic mesh off. And a one, and a... Ah! Oh, crap. The enemy didn't hear us, did they? Seriously, we're finally getting out of here! You should wait on celebrating until you actually get out. Now get going! But what about you? There's something that I still have to do. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> You've got manners. Be careful on your way.
Those two seem useful, especially the frizzy-haired one, if my judgment's right. Did we make it? You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. Huh? Returned? Does that mean we got away? <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. What was all that anyways? That castle and, and Kamoshida and that weird cat? What the hell's going on? What's with the yelling? Are you students of Shujin? Cutting classes, are we? Huh? Uh, no. We were trying to get to school and we ended up at this weird castle. <sighs> what? Oh, hand over your bag. You better not be doing any drugs. Why would you think that? Are you his friend? Then you should go to school. Take him with you. Like I'm trying to say, I don't know what's going on either. We passed by Shujin on our way here. There was nothing out of the ordinary about it. If you spout any more nonsense, I'll contact your school. Is that what you want? Come on, say something. Uh, that's not what I meant. W wait a sec. Is that guy for real? Fine, I'm going. Minister of Transport announcing his resignation. <laughs> Things are going as planned. Sai Nijima. That reminds me. <sighs> Better to leave it be for now. Is this for real? I'm sure we came the same way. I What's going on here? That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. We received a call from the police. The damn cops snitched on us after all. Hmm. It's rare not to see you alone. Where were you roaming around until this time? Uh... A, ca a castle? So you have no intention of giving an honest answer. What's this about a castle? <laughs> Kamoshida? You seem so carefree, Sakamoto. Quite a difference from when you did morning practice for the track team. Shut up! It's your fault that it... How dare you speak that way to Mr. Kamoshida? <sighs> There's not much leeway left for you, you know? He's the one that provoked me! Do you really want to be expelled? In any case, you'll have to explain yourself. Follow me. What? This is bullshit! Come now. I should have been more considerate, too. Let's just say that we were both to blame. Well, if you say so. Still, you're coming with me. It's undeniable that you're extremely late. Fine. By the way, you're that new transfer student, correct? Have we met somewhere? That's right. I remember now. Well, I'll overlook this just for today. I'm sure you've heard from the principal. But cause any trouble and you'll be expelled. Understand? Is that supposed to be a joke? I'm not laughing. At any rate, hurry up and go to the faculty office. I'm sure Ms. Kawakami's tired of waiting. Good luck trying to enjoy your new school life. The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. 
I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher Suguru Kamoshida. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the... violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? That's unacceptable. Try and recall it once again. over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? Oh, it's lunchtime, you know. You would have gotten here sooner if you had walked from your place. It's true the train schedules have been a mess due to the accident, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. <sighs> Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so... Your seat will be... Hmm, over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ooh, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh right, the volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh, 
Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto-kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black, either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case? At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamashito-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? <sighs> Figured as much. Then again, we're in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. Yeah, the ripped mop head. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamoshida was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? See ya. I got a call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer.
About time you've come to. On your feet, inmate. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Seriously? Uh, what's going on? Look, isn't that her? You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. Oh, wow, what speed. I mean, excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thanking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. is starting. What's the answer? This is it. <laughs> Correct.
Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes. I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you. Thank you. Please excuse me. Yo. I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so you in? <laughs> okay, glad we're in this together. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Ah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like, returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? That's not how I'd describe it. What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! Oh man, I'm such a genius! Let's try using it. Then I'll do it. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. There we go! And then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? Yesterday. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah, that was close. That 
happened last time too, huh? What's with that outfit? I, I ain't jealous. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all. Hey! Stop making a commotion. Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. To think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense! I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit, it's for real! We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. I just want to get a better look at your powers, even if you don't agree. I bet this guy will go on even if he has to do it alone. Are you gonna leave him? It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. All right, let's do this. Follow me. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. But I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. This place is as creepy as always. Mm-hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me. Uh... There would be guards here. It looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. You'll need to rip their masks off to momentarily break the control that the palace ruler has over them. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. Show me your true form! Alright, the first move is ours! Persona! There. I'll cut you off! A spectacular victory! It's a
step forward. Okay. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before! Where'd they go? Quiet down! Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Hey, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all! One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> Son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Uh, I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes! What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest-to-God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is, well, it's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshita, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. Hmm. There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. duty here. The way to the training hall should be just beyond those bars. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Do we gotta fight it? Seems like it. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. 
If it does, the palace's security level will rise. Uh, and what do we do if that happens? Run away? Well, the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed. That sounds, uh, complicated. Fine. I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? I'll reveal your true form. Anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah, it looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair! Dude, I, I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything! You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire! <laughs> How about that? Surprised? There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Of course, you can run out of ammo, but using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. All right, I'll show you my weapon, too. For real? Listen to this. Let's get them! Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy.
Okay. A guard. I'm pretty sure that's where we need to be going, too. I guess that's our only choice. But wait. This might be a good time. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Don't be so modest. This one's on the house. Let's go. Listen, there's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something? First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Let's go. There! Now rush on in for an all-out attack! Do it! Hmm, that went really well. You're definitely fit for this. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. Wouldn't it be more trouble defeating them individually? Just accept your new role with grace. Strike the enemy's weakness, Knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. Yes! Hmm. Yeah. Do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone. It's useless. Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. What the hell? Why is it gotta be so complicated? So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me they're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So, it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida! Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? 
A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Let's go! Damn it! Come on, man. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Yeah. Let's go! Same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. <laughs> what a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. That's not true! What a tragedy! You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God damn it! Ryuji, move! Oh, we're surrounded! I'll kill you! I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us! I'll kill because that's what he wants! This will hurt. Today's your unlucky day. Me! Yeah! There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Failure! It can't be. I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me! Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. That coach who got fired was hopeless too. 
Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team is gone too because of this asshole. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Ryuji! You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida. What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! You made me wait quite a while. <laughs> You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou, thou art I. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! No, oh, this one is well. Right on. What's up, Persona? This effin' rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! Troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters! Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? Then I'll act like the troublemaker I am! Let's do this, Captain Kid! Persona! Captain Kid! The enemy's dead! Ah! Let's go, Captain! The enemy's dead! Persona! Get ready! Persona! You're mine! Witness my resolve! Oh, that's it! Payback uh, time, King! Uh, uh, watch your health! Persona! Use the breathing room! Heal! Uh, uh, Slip him, Persona! Uh, hey, you're in danger! Persona! Well, that's a heal! I am a loyal subject of the glorious King Kamoshida. So why have I lost? It just proves the Kamoshida ain't anything special. She had the potential too. Even if you apologize now, I ain't forgiven you. I told you that this is my castle. It seems you still don't understand. Wha 
Tamaki? Oh! oh what a marvelous and beautiful girl! What's going on? Now's not the time for that! Damn it! Why is Takamaki here? Hey! Let go of her, you perv! How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki, say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. Damn it! Clean them up this instant! We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run? Thank God you've got a level head. <sighs> Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Ignore him. Let's go! Anyways, I don't remember changing into this. The hell? It's much better than your magician looking one. Did you find them? Quiet. No, search that way. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before. When a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <sighs> Wait! We're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot. Relax. The Kamoshida in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? The nerve! Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You've got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky-dory? Oh, hell no! Get back here! You have returned.
returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. We're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How you holding up? That's impressive. I'm exhausted even though I used to do track. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, so... If you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with, just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. You gotta do this! I'll help out too. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now, so why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Oh, my bad. So, you left your hometown, and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. Uh, it's not exactly how, but... You know... I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in... Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID too. Just you wait, Kamoshida.
Yoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more! There's tons of ginger here! So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Ah, right. been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball's all I have, after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep, good luck! Hang in there, Shiho. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? Hey, you better not be getting into trouble. People have already got their eyes on you. Don't do anything too stupid, got it? I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> We have a deal, then. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down.
sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that saw. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <clears throat> well, anyways, now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? What? Wh what, are you, what are you saying? No, of course not. It's Kamoshida, ain't it? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and she still won't fess up. Ah, crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. See you for a sec. 
It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke! Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. No, I ain't giving up. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do.
shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Huh? Um, well... Hmm. You don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something. Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? Then it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know... I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? 
<sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Now? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point! If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here.
Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama. Platform number two, service to Asakusa is departing soon. Please watch your step. Please give it a rest. I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? See? Is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. about me. <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <laughs> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh... I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. <laughs> you might be right. So weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish 
wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well... Thanks. Suzui... Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. <laughs> You're late. Where have you been? Is that supposed to be an excuse? How directionally challenged can you be? By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Did I just hear a cat just now? <laughs> Meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If you only knew, I'm reading this, too. Hey! What's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait... She's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, is it? Hey! Stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room! No way! Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! Suzui? Huh? Suzui! 
really, hey, son? Let's go look. We should head to the courtyard too. Really? There's no way we're gonna get past all these goddamn people. Come on, let's try going through the practice building. Yay, what the hell? Let me through, man. Please. People. We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go. Please hurry. Shio. Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... I can't take this anymore. at once! <gasps> that guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too, to the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't... That son of a bitch! Uh. I bet Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Really? Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't! Play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... you ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims 
because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about. Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh? You're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can't. <laughs> but of course you can't. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. We can't waste any time! We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole! We're not beating him up! We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida. Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! That was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Huh? Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. Be 
really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? A name... A school? Huh? All right, time to bust on through. What is this? T Sakamaki? <gasps> that voice, Sakamoto? And are you? Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god! It's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? O oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? What are you- We'll explain after everything's over. Where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about... Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. Hey, look, ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle! Strengthen the security, kill them on sight! I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashita! Death to the intruders! Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot! It'd be suicide! And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. 
We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine, uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for holdups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold up. They're all knocked down. That was incredible, Joker. Well, something along those lines. Now, sorry. Well, wait, what? Oh, this isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case, I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Uh, for real? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Come on! <laughs> wow! What the? What's going on? Cool. I am thou, thou art I. What was that just now? What happened? For real? Taken the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Persona. Yeah, fine. Besides that. the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Of course it is! Only one heart exists per person, so normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible! That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. You better help out too, Skull. Hell yeah! We'll hold every last one of them up! <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all.
treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. Persona! Let's do it! I said! Hold on. Let's go. Not that. It's almost scary how good I am. It's almost scary how good I am. Stay focused. Just stay there. Reveal your true you? form. This app just said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up. Princess? Huh? Princess! Ah! Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yeah, uh, Skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows! Wait, what? 
We sent her home earlier. If Ladyon does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Damn it!
I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving soon. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay. Let's go look at my new residence for this world. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. What the? What is this place? Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you... I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Not my problem. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine, but keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. <sighs> Seriously. I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. 
Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strength born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? You guys send messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. Oh! Well then. Oh! Good. I see. No! Morning!
Hey, are you listening? Pay attention! Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Actually... Hey! This is the clinic that the Chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? How about a stinky one then? Just kidding, there's no such pill. All right, why don't we stop beating around the bush? You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, Stop by any time. Great. It's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? Should work. Thanks. You want that one? Here you go. That should work. Thanks. You want that one? Here you go. That should work. Thanks. You want that one? Here you go. Take care.
Yes. Okay. We might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. Oh! Okay. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Hey! Yeah! Oh yeah, uh, before we head in... You know what? I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we want. Come on, let's do this. <sighs> you looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. What do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh... Automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Uh, can't remember you. You bastard. And you? Looking for something? Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. Right. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring him out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good.
Do you like it? Sounds good. All right. All right. Which one? Hmm. Don't break it, okay? That's why you better not use it to pull a front. Huh? Don't break it, okay? Huh? How's that? Okay, sounds good. You better not use it to pull a prank. That's what you're choosing? Take your time. You like it? That's what's that. Don't break it, okay? Alright. Alright, which one? Come again. Later. Did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Same as always. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. That desk, hurry now and clean it up. Great, now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lock pick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great, we should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? 
there's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh! The delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. <sighs> After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but that's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Uh-huh. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. Would you like?
Welcome. Well... trying to do. Take care. Did you change your mind?
Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well, all that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Okay, it's my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? And how did you treat your wounds? It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this, you know. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh, you don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. I have to perfect this medicine. If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. <laughs> All right, take care. Hey.
Nice. Okay. That's incredible. Let's get started. Try to answer this. This is it. You do know.
Yo. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Hey, hey. right. Don't think about unnecessary stuff right now. Just focus on changing Kamoshida's heart. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Wow! Help. 
Welcome. Poor Skelty, but just look at these bodies. They can't be from Earth. Hey, hey. Sounds like those two are in high spirits, you know? 
This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for you too. If you want to overturn your current situation, you can't let this chance go to waste. Oh! They're all dead. How could... Who could have done this? The larvae! It must have infected them. Got into their brains. We need to find those samples, Skelty. Fast! Ah. Oh! All right. Okay. Well then. Sir? This is it. Correct. No way. Nice going. No, no, no. Please head to the exam room. What? Wow. 
By the way... All right. <laughs> Take care. Ah, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> 